Hi guys, just a brief overview of today's video. So we'll be looking at stress strain graphs and also I-beam section capacities. So I have a sort of theoretical example here where I've got stress strain graph of um, bending, uh, uniaxial bending that is, uh, uniform compression and the summation of the two to give this stress strain distribution. The key thing to note here is basically we can see the neutral axis that was here, um, that neutral axis there has shifted downwards to this new neutral axis here, as I've indicated by this blue dashed line. Now, uh, so what I've really noted here is as more compression is added to a beam undergoing bending, the neutral axis drops lower. Uh, one thing I want to sort of touch back on that we've covered in the previous beams topic was uh, compact sections and basically compact sections realize full yield without buckling if you guys remember and given this sort of setup uh, we can sort of get that full yielding happening. Um, so what I want to sort of go over in this example is a more numerical example to what I've previously talked about how the neutral axis drops. So I've got two nodes here and here I'm going to say for the moment at this one um, value so this is all some sort of scale um, but it has a sort of BMD that will look